Good day, guys. Good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here on the day after I dropped a very controversial video. Seen? Anyways, welcome back to the channel and thanks for being here. Um, We're talking Norman Campbell and Junior Fleming in this particular video. Both have made transfers. But, well, one is still in Serbia and the other one has gone to Serbia. Norman Campbell, we're going to be talking about his transfer first, but he has moved to a club called FK Vojvodina Novi Sad. Junior Flemings has also moved to the Serbian first year on loan, a season-long loan to a club called FK Voz Dovac, Belgrade. All right, we're going to get to the Junior Fleming's transfer. First, we're going to talk about Norman Campbell. Norman Campbell has made a move to fellow Serbian first division club, Vojvodina Novi Sad. That's FK Vojvodina Novi Sad, fellow Serbian first division club. Um, he was at Javor Ivan Jika, uh, another club in the Serbian first division and uh, yeah it's it's a move to a bigger club a more prestigious club in serbia um a kind of if member seven right i heard i heard something along the lines of of that you know a move was coming with norman but i don't remember where i heard it to be honest with you but i didn't know exactly you know like i didn't know the particulars of it until it broke earlier today um so you know i wasn't really surprised when i saw it broke um he again going to fk vojvodina novi sad not a bad move not a bad move to be honest with you um it's a it's a it's a good move it's a it's a team that traditionally you know plays higher up in the in the serbian league ivan jika the club he's going from is a much smaller club compared to this particular football club that he's going to uh, it's a bigger club in serbia and uh, the club that he's coming from narrowly missed relegation last season by the skin of them teeth norman campbell played a huge role in them avoiding relegation and uh, so I, I don't blame him for, for for moving away from that particular club um you know even though the club that is coming from Javor Ivan Jika, they haven't started the season bad. As a matter of fact, they are one place ahead of the team that he's going to know in the league. You know, it's on the same points though, but one place ahead. So they haven't started bad. They are on mid-table very early into the season, but still it's a smaller club. So, you know, a good move going to a bigger club in Serbia. You know, bigger club, you know, a lot of the times means greater opportunity. You know, in probably, well, I shouldn't say most cases, but in a lot of cases, especially, you know, if he's going to be guaranteed, you know, a certain level of game time. Um, this club, FK Vojvodina Novi Sad, has won two Serbian Cups. They have also won two Yugoslavian league titles way back in the day when, you know, Serbia was a part of Yugoslavia. Um, just a brief history and what they have done in the last couple of seasons in the 2021 in the 2020-2021 campaign they finished fourth out of 20 teams in the 2021-2022 campaign they finished 17 they finished seventh rather out of 16 teams in the 2022-2023 campaign they finished fifth out of 16 teams and so far this season the 2023-2024 campaign so far they are in eighth place out of 16 teams as mentioned earlier the team that he is leaving from is on the same amount of points eight points as them however they're you know that team javor is one place ahead of them in seventh um and uh, vojvodina has competed in the top three european competition or its qualification rounds so this club is a significantly bigger club than the one that he is leaving from um by the way it's a three-year contract as well it's a three-year contract let me read the article on your screen quickly oh 
Where's the part about Norman Campbell? All right. Vosvodina Football Club is ple pleased to announce that new members of the old ladies are Alexa Vakonovic and Norman Campbell. Let's get to the Norman Campbell part. At the same time, Norman Campbell, who arrived from Javor Matis, Ivan Jika, became a new member of Voza. He is also known on the Super League scene as Super League scene as Vojvodina is the 23-year-old Jamaican's fourth club in Serbia. Before Javor, he performed for Grafica and Kukariki. Campbell is a winger and he signed a three-year contract with Wash. So that is Norman Campbell on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. So we're wishing Norman Campbell all the best in his at his new home in Serbia. Hopefully bigger club means bigger success. Seen? All right. We're going to Junior Fleming's now. All right, it's on your screen. Junior Fleming's ladies and gentlemen have has made a loan move away from Toulouse. You know, he has been at the big French League One club, that French first tier club Toulouse, and you know, game time has been really not even difficult to come by, impossible to come by, basically. So, you know, Flemmer had to make a move. He was one of the players that I had mentioned in a video earlier in the summer that needed to make a move this summer. So I'm happy that he has made a move away from Toulouse. Really and truly never wanted to see him go another half a season, you know, not even sitting on the bench, sitting in the stands. Can't even make a match day squad. You know, he, he, he needs game time. He needs to get back into it. And luckily, he has gotten an opportunity in Serbia for FK Vazdovac Belgrade. It's a one-year loan move away from Toulouse without an option to buy, interestingly enough. I don't know if that's Vazdovac never wanted to buy him or that's Toulouse never wanted to let him go, never wanted to put in that option to buy. Um... But yeah, he's going to this football club desperately, you know, needed a move away from Toulouse. I'm happy for Flemings. And you know, I think he will go to this league and I think he'll do just fine. You know, um, I think he can cut it at a slightly higher level. Uh, 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 I think he could cut it at a slightly higher level. But me now complain. It's a good move all the way See? Um, let me read the article on your screen. And as long as Flemo gets game time as well and... You know, the Serbian League is a big selling league, you know. It's a very prestigious league, you know. Right? So, it's not a bad place to go and make your name at all. The representative of Jamaica from Toulouse arrived among the Dragons. This is the article on your screen. A great addition to the roof. Junior Flemings is the new player of the football club. Vozdavak, the Jamaican representative, arrived in the team from... Braka Jarkovic on a one-year loan from Toulouse. I, mean, I, really, I don't know who or what is Braka Jarkovic. I probably need to look into that. Anyway, I don't know what is that. Anyways, he's on a one-year loan move from Toulouse. The 27-year-old winger grew up in Tivoli Gardens, then built his career abroad, starting with New York Red Bulls, Tampa Bay, Phoenix Rising, and Legion, from where he moved to the French Premier League in January 2022. He spent the last half season in France in the ranks of Chamois New York. He played in 26 games with the national team where he scored four goals. The sports director of the club from Zaplanska, Mr. Bojan Leon Tejivic, <laughs> yo, my butcher, I read the name. Anyways, presented the newest addition to the Dragons. And this is the sporting director being quoted on your screen. We lacked a player in the right wing position and preferably a second central attacker in the roster. Interesting. And the choice fell on Flemings. He comes from a competitive background, so hopefully he will help our young team reach their full potential. Potential. We negotiated with him and the French club for a long time. Interesting. We expect him to accept all the requirements and principles of the game very quickly. We are sure that we have done a good job said mr leon whatever whatever i'm not go back through that again but now i'm not try to pronounce a better name again that too much 
the guy with the greatest of respect to him. The guy born in King, the guy born in Kingston knew before coming to the roof that the Dragons were the youngest team in all of Europe's top leagues. Interesting. That's interesting. That would be an interesting fact if true. This is him being quoted again. I knew I was. Oh, this is Flemo. Oh, this is Junior Fleming's being quoted now. I knew I was coming to the youngest team in Europe. I researched a bit about the club, the players' past results. The team is in the first place for me, and I will do my best to achieve the best possible results as a team, said the new player of Vosdeva. Interesting. By coming to Flemmer doing research from club, a big research from do because that's not a, that's not a, that's a, that's a, uh, that's deep research to find out that it's the youngest team in, in Europe. That's interesting. By coming to the club from Dusanovac, he will have the opportunity to play above the shopping center for the first time while in the Red Bulls. For the first time, while in the Red Bulls, he already performed on the field with an artificial surface. I've never played in a stadium like this, which is on the roof of a shopping mall. That's actually, yeah, that's true. That's something that popped up in my research about this club. It looks very creative. I have experience playing on artificial grass. I like it because that's how my speed can come to the fore. So that's Flemmer doing a, 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 a fair bit of research on this particular football club, ladies and gentlemen. That was also something I, I had known about them. The, the stadium, you know, it it has um it features a, a shopping mall as well. So that's interesting. You guys would have seen the pictures that I showed on the screen. Um in the 2020-2021 campaign, this team finished 14th out of 20 teams. In the 2021-2022 campaign, they finished sixth out of 16 teams. In the 2022-2023 campaign, they finished seventh out of 16 teams. So far this season, in the 2023-2024 campaign, earlier on in the season, or early on in the season, rather, they are currently fifth in 16 out of 16 teams. So they're they're doing okay. Um, the last 11 seasons in Serbia. Top flight, this team has featured in the last 11 seasons of the Serbian top flight. Two consecutive promotions took them from the third tier in the 2011-2012 season to the first tier in the 2013-2014 season. So that's a bit of background on this particular football club, FK Vazdavak, Belgrade. We wish Flemo all the best as well. Hopefully, well, I don't think game time will be a problem for Flemmer at this level. You know, hopefully he can go there and perform really well and really make a name for himself in a European first division. i really like to see that, and that would be a good look for Junior Flemings. Knock up the likes button, subscribe, and share. Again, wishing both these two reggae boys all the best in their at their new clubs. Take care, guys. Stay safe, and until next time.